resistance everywhere. That's right, folks. I'm talking about candy cane. Tinsel. <laughs> yeah, this is stupid freaking tinsel. <laughs> Oddly enough, you never quite have the right length of tinsel to achieve your tinsel related goals. <laughs> I don't know what you're laughing about. <laughs> Perfectly innocent tinsel over here. What do you do with this? <laughs> but I'm going to show you something because sometimes you may find yourself in a position where you do your darndest. Get yourself. Two equal parts of tin, two equal pieces of tinsel. I mean, you try, you measure twice, cut once, and then what happens? Stupid stuff. This doesn't come out right. Let me show you what you do. All you gotta do is tie a little knot in it. So you go, you go left over right. You go right over left. You go left over left, right over right, and you see it's pretty inconspicuous. <laughs> this is the tough part. It's part where you get rid of the nut. The best part about this is this is so shiny, even if you didn't drink before you came to see the show. <laughs> That's right, I will perform hallucinations for your benefit. <laughs> I did this one time and I was nuked up on NyQuil. I don't know what everybody else saw, but it looked bitching. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah! I find it hard to believe and I'm the one doing the darn trick. Now many magicians, many folks would say, many magicians would say they would refuse to do a trick twice because it goes against the magician's creed. But I say, on that. <laughs> what do they ever do for me? Two miracle knots, the price of one. We cut the tinsel hither, we cut the tinsel thither, which will give us three equal freaking pieces of tinsel. <laughs> Part of the trick, do make sure you are cutting the tinsel into three equal lengths. If you do not cut it into three equal lengths, it will come back and bite you on the backside later in the trick. So please, <laughs> no matter what else happens, do try and stay focused. Uh, <laughs> do not allow yourself to become distracted. Because of this part of the trick, there's nothing worse than standing up on stage looking like an idiot holding three different lengths. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I am that idiot. <laughs> well, aside from making a run for it, in the event you make a stupid rookie mistake like that, all you got to do is try and restore all this stuff, and we will do our best to do so, folks. We'll bring the ends together, and we'll use an ancient mystical incantation, one I learned in college. <laughs> Catapultum habeo, nisi picunum on a meum, ad caput tuum in non saxum mihi dabis. Which is Latin for I have a catapult. <laughs> yeah. Give me all your gold, or I'll fling an enormous rock at your head. <laughs> Which is a good thing to know if you have a catapult. Okay. And if you do not have a catapult, now you know what to ask for for Christmas. <laughs> Anything else will sound sane. <laughs> <laughs> we then restore these three pieces of tinsel to their original platonic lengths. That is Platonic, from Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher postulated there's a real world and an ideal world, and the ideal world of your object its own ideal form. You see, ladies and gentlemen, I told you. Ooh. I went to college. Okay, these two over here, we'll put this one over here for the moment, and we'll restore it using that miracle knot I showed you just a moment ago. You may want to take notes this time. We go left over right. We go right over left. <laughs> You'd think this stuff would taste tested. <laughs> you go left over left. You go right over right. Now, this is the tricky part. Third piece, second knot, and a complete lack of original material. <laughs> <laughs> left over right. Right over left. <laughs> left over left. Right over right. The rabbit comes out of the hole. Goes around the tree. Gets eaten by the badger. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we have no idea where the badger comes from. But as you can see, this piece of tinsel is practically restored now. Go with me on this, yes? <laughs> this time around, we're going to have to result, resort rather, to chemical additives. Let me use a little pixie dust. I grind my own. <laughs> it's humane, they're free range pixies. <laughs> they're free range, gluten free, non GMO, fair trade, artisanal pixies. I get them from Austin. <laughs> now you know where I went to college. Yeah. I will be beaten up by an Aggie later in the show. <laughs> Assuming he can find the stage. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the trick. First knot, bang like that. Whoa! Now the second knot can be a little trickier, folks, because we've already done this twice, and you know there's this law of threes. And eventually it will come off, but sometimes it takes longer to come off than others. <laughs> Be patient. <laughs> it will work its way free. Yeah. But pay attention. No, you don't. You're going to stand up on stage looking silly for a lot longer than you had planned on. <laughs> kind of like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Remember this, folks. It's the holiday season. I know some of you are going to be going out later tonight. You're going to be going out driving. If you're going to go out driving tonight, don't forget your car. <laughs> <laughs> you folks have been spectacular. I've been Tobias Yadikwit. Thank you for encouraging me. <laughs>